Well, hello there. We're back with some more algebra. We're graphing quadratic functions, and we've actually had two other videos on this. This is our third video. Uh, so our objective in this video is that we're going to learn how to solve quadratic, or not solve, we're going to learn how to graph quadratic functions of type f of x equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. This is the new element to our function, this k. Last time we looked at just that, right? What's going to happen if we add a constant at the end? All right. Well, maybe you can pause this video and see if you can come up with a guess. All right. So we have this function here. G of x, remember I said it could be G of x, F of x, it doesn't really matter. It's basically the y value. G of x equals x plus 2 squared minus 5. Excuse me. We want to uh, graph this function, find the vertex, and the line of symmetry. And if you were with me in the last video, you probably already know the vertex and the line of symmetry right now. Do you see it? Well, excuse me. Um, if you look at this right here, that too is the key. Remember what I said. We're trying to make this part of the function equal to zero. What number would, uh, for x, what value for x would create a zero here? It would be two? No, two plus two is four. How about negative two? Negative two plus two is zero. So I already know what the vertex is. I know the vertex is going to be at x equals negative 2, but I don't know what the y value is going to be. I also know what the line of symmetry is going to be. I know that the line of symmetry is going to be at x equals negative 2, right? Because of that 2 right there. Okay, that's very important to know. That's important to know because... That's going to help me choose my x values. All right, so my, I'm going to choose, that's going to be the center point of my parabola. So I'm going to make that the center of my x values. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and put negative 2, because that's my vertex. How did I get that negative 2? From right here. In order to make this 0, this has to be negative 2. All right, so then I just go 3 less than negative 2 and 3 more. So 3 less than negative 2 would be, right, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And 3 greater than negative 2 would be negative 1, 0, and 1. So you can see how being able to identify that line of symmetry is very important so that we know what x values to choose. All right. So let's go ahead and solve these various values of x. Let's solve g of x for these various values of x. All right, so let's start with x equals negative 5. All right, so if I want to go g of negative 5, essentially is what I'm talking about. g of negative 5. Everywhere I see an x, everywhere I see an x, I'm just going to substitute a negative 5. Okay, so we got x, so I got negative 5, plus 2, squared, minus 5. What's that going to give me? Well, let's see. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3, and negative 3 to the second power is 9. 9 minus 5 is... Four. All right, so g of negative 5 is 4. Okay, how about g of negative 4? All right, that's what we're dealing with now. Well, now I just substitute a negative 4. And I got that minus 5 at the end. Okay, so negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. 
and negative 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 5, 4 minus 5 is negative 1, huh? Hmm, interesting. So g of negative 4 is negative 1. How about at x equals negative 3? What's g of negative 3 going to be? Well, let's see. g of negative 3. So everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a negative 3. All right? So negative 3 plus 2 to the second power minus 5. Okay, so negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Okay, let's do uh, one more here, then we should get the, the pattern. So now I need an x equal negative 2. So g of negative 2 equals, right where I see an x, I'm going to put a negative 2. All right, so negative 2 plus 2 squared minus 5. What does that equal? Well, negative 2 plus 2, that's a 0, right? That's how we knew it was the vertex. That's 0. 0 squared is 0. And 0 minus 5 is negative 5. Oh, we forgot to put negative 4 right there, didn't we? Okay, so remember I said that the parabola is symmetrical about its line of symmetry. That's why it's called the line of symmetry. All right, so that means we should be able to get these values in without having to do all this mathematics. I mean, we could, but this is kind of a, a shortcut. So we got 4, negative 1, negative 4, negative 5. This is going to be negative 4, negative 1, 4. See that? It's a lot quicker. Okay, so now we have our ordered pairs. Let's go ahead and plot these points so we can get our parabola. All right, looks like my coordinate grid's kind of getting worn out here. Okay, so we got negative 5 and 4. Let's find that. Negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we got 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's our first point. Okay, negative 4, negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, and ooh, negative 1. Down 1, right? Negative 3, negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then negative 2, negative 5. We'll be right there. And this is going to go up. All right, it's the same level with that guy. Over 1. Level with him. Over 1. Level with him, right? Because it's symmetrical. Okay, now let's just do our best to connect these points. Uh, seems like the harder I try, the worse it is. All right, so there's roughly a parabola. And you'll notice that I have a line of symmetry. Where's my line of symmetry? Well, it passes right, right down here. There's my line of symmetry. My line of symmetry is at x equals what? Negative 2, just what I thought. Okay, so what's my vertex? Well, the vertex is right here. It's the minimum point. And the x value for that vertex is what? Negative 2, so that's going to be negative 2, and what's going to be the g of x coordinate? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5. All right, so there's my vertex, negative 2, negative 5, there's my line of symmetry, and x equals negative 2. Okay, so now I want you to notice, this is the... The moment of truth. What 
did this k value, what did that k value of negative 5 do to my parabola? Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can answer that question. Okay, well, welcome back. What did it do? Well, let's see. First of all, we saw that this x plus 2 gave it a horizontal shift of negative 2. Right? So this here represents our horizontal shift. Okay? It shifted negative 2. Boom. But now look, the vertex actually shifted down vertically. One, two, three, four, five. It went down five. Where did we get that down five from? Right there. Negative five caused our parabola to shift down five. If that would have been a plus five, it would have shifted up. Okay? So this right here represents our vertical shift. Okay? So, as you can see, when it's in this form, you can sketch these parabolas really quick. Um, just by knowing the vertical shift and the horizontal shift, you can get that vertex, get that line of symmetry, and then plot that parabola in uh, pr pretty quickly. All right? So uh, there you have it when we have a K value. Make sure you get some practice on this. And uh, as always, make sure you subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified whenever I make new videos. All right? So good luck and God bless you, my friends.